The world is a very scary place, and by scary, I mean you can't trust anyone. Now, there isn't much to this story, which is okay, because I don't think I could actually tell it all if there were. This isn't something that I would normally talk about, but it feels like it's time to share what happened. It was my first semester at college, my first time really being on my own, and man, did I think I was ready for it. I made the hour and a half drive from my town to the one where my college campus was in. The first day wasn't all that bad. I mean, I had to go to the building where the workout equipment was to get registered, take my photo for the college ID, and get the directions to the building that my dorm room was in. The campus wasn't really big. The RA gave me a general description of where everything was. My brother and my brother-in-law at the time were helping me to move all of my things into the building where my dorm room was, which was awesome of them to do. I met the girls that I'd be sharing the dorm room with. They were pretty nice, but the building next to mine had all of the male athletes in it. The first thing I did after officially getting moved into my new dorm, I went outside and lit up a cigarette, not knowing that, oh hey, you can't smoke on campus. It took me an entire night to figure out why the upperclassmen were staring at me weirdly, yet none of them had the decency to fucking tell me. Now, I spent that entire night outside on the concrete sidewalk, getting to know the girls that I was sharing my dorm room with. They were actually really nice and didn't live too far from where my hometown was, so that was awesome. The guys in the dorm next to us were nice, but one of them was... odd. He seemed really nice at first. He introduced himself, sat with me during the orientation, told me where to go if I wanted to smoke a cigarette, which was cool at first because it really helped me out having him already been there for a year. It was pretty cool that we became friends really quickly, but I hadn't realized that his friendship was more to him than I thought it was. It started out with the small things. He would find me after my classes and walk me to the cafeteria for lunch or to the dorm so I didn't have to be bombarded by people. This guy was a football player, tall, broad shoulders, muscles for days, the stereotypical type. Anyway, he actually started to get a little clingy. He wouldn't want to go back to his dorm. He wanted to sleep on the small futon in my dorm. He wanted to walk me from class to class, have lunch and dinner with me, smoke a cigarette any time he noticed me outside. I didn't really mind having someone to walk to classes with, or to have someone to talk to when I was feeling a bit stressed out about classes, so I didn't think much of it. It was about a month and a half into the semester when he really started getting attached. This guy literally started to make any excuse possible so that he could get out of going to football practice. He'd tap on my bedroom window when I wouldn't answer his texts back or when I was trying to sleep. I wasn't able to get my studying done because he would bother the ever-living shit out of me. Like, this guy went to great lengths just to have my attention, and let me tell you, it got really annoying, real fast. I finally had enough of the sleepless nights, the total feeling of being utterly exhausted all of the time, and the persistent nagging, which was honestly causing me stress. So, I told him that it was best if we were not to be around each other for a while. You know, take some time to make different friends. He seemed to take it pretty well, at least that's what I thought. I hadn't realized that he was following me everywhere that I went around the campus. I hadn't realized that he had followed me all the way back home one time and found out where I lived. I hadn't realized how much my presence meant to this guy until his roommate told me that his walls were covered in my pictures. Pictures of me in my bedroom, in class, in the cafeteria, in the library, walking around town, you name it. 
I literally didn't realize how fucking audacious this guy was. Until he literally broke into my dorm room one night, crept into my bedroom, and put his hand over my mouth to wake me up. This was the moment I realized he was fucking crazy. I told him straight up that we couldn't be friends, but he told me that he just couldn't find anyone else that understood him like I did. I was really fucking glad when my personal reasons for dropping out of college appeared, because it was the only reason why I was able to actually get away from that whacked out weirdo. I haven't seen him since that night, nor do I ever care to see him again. I wish this story were longer, but again, I couldn't bear to say anything more than this, and this was hard enough for me to tell. The best advice that I can give you, to anyone, is to not trust people. If you have a gut feeling about someone, trust it and get the fuck out of Dodge.